since Start Mate, we raised another round. Uh, we have hired quite a few people. I think during Start Mate, we maybe had three people on the team, and now we have 12, I think. We just onboarded another person this week, um, and we're still hiring more people. So, you know, that's good. Um, and yeah, we've, we've just been scaling since. Since I guess January, when we started first started monetizing, I guess December, January period, and now we've just been scaling the revenue and scaling the business. And yeah, so I think um, interestingly enough, even though I've done a business before, the equity stuff was still fairly new. Like coming into understanding all the stuff around fundraising and and issuing it, I understood it from a theoretical level, but then actually issuing it and things were were foreign to me because I usually had co-founders who did the business side and I was just like the tech dude. Um, often the lawyers would send me something or they would send me this really complicated cap table and I had no idea what was going on. Um, and so I think that's been a bit tricky. Then figuring out ESOP was also another big um, challenge for me as well, like understanding what it was, understanding the tax implications, explaining that to my team as well, because then they had to understand it as well. Um, and then figuring out how much to carve out, how much to give them, issuing the agreements to them, getting them to sign it. We did two price rounds, which was lucky. So we didn't have any safe sort notes or anything like that, which would muddy the, the cap table. So they were pretty clean fundraising processes. Like um, the seed pre-seed round was just Blackbird and a few angels. And then um, the seed round was 10, 13 Blackbird possible ventures, and then a couple of angels as well. Um, and so that was, uh, they were, they were fairly straightforward in terms of the process of like getting that out. It's just that there was so much paperwork happening and there was so many documents flying back and forth. And half the time, honestly, someone would be like, where's your uh, constitution? And then I'd spend 10 minutes digging for my constitution. And I just like didn't know where all my stuff was half the time. So, um, you know, um, I think that was the biggest difference actually, even though they were both price rounds, one was with cake and one was without. And I could see that there was a pretty big differences between the two. Um, but what I will say is that like the biggest pain for me was less so the fundraising and more the ESOP side. That was just so difficult. And I don't know why it was so difficult. I just like didn't understand it half the time. Um, yeah. yeah. And I just found it so easy to just log in, click a couple of buttons, send the email to my employee, they sign it and then like ESOP is sorted. Right. And I think one of the things that I had uh, less so on the legal side, more on a, a moral side is that I've heard so many stories of employees not getting their ESOP on time or like, you know, they get screwed by the company afterwards. So I made a big sticking point that I wanted my team members to have their ESOP signed then and there, like immediately, so they didn't have to worry about it. And so I just wanted.